I was trying to hit the cut sneak pause. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so back with another video. And the entire point is, entire point of this video is staying related to your roots and your basics. Okay. So the only the, the, the title of the video would suggest something to you. Okay. It says keep it simple. Okay. So some of the times the absolute brilliance is on how simple you keep a thing, yet so magnificent is the result. Okay. So I'll give you an example. I'll give you a simple straight example. It happened with me. Okay. And I'm not saying I am the magnificent result or something like that. But anyways, I'll explain it. So uh, I was, I had started training. Uh, I was in the middle and this is not too long ago. This is around two months ago. Okay. So I was training and I was pretty uh, used to my style of training, even though I was shocking the muscle, changing stuff up, but it had kind of become predictable. The mind was reading it and it had become predictable. So what would, what would should, or what should be done? So what, what I did was, uh, I kind of went back to basics. Okay. I went through a video on YouTube where uh, I don't exactly know whose channel I was surfing, but I saw a guy training arms uh, in the old school way. And by old school, I mean, he was training it textbook. What does the now? Now, I'll, I'll pose this question to you guys. How many of you have actually trained the textbook style? And by textbook style, I mean, keeping that tempo, which is mentioned. I mean, uh, when you're curling, how many of you actually keep a 1 is to 3 ratio of the concentric to the eccentric part of the movement? Meaning, when you curl the weight up and when you put it down, how many of you actually take 1 second to curl it up and then 3 seconds to lower it up? Very few of us. So what we've done is, in pushing the weight in trying out new things and uh, in training our ego, in doing drop sets, occlusion training and all of those new funders, which I'm saying do work, we've actually forgotten the main uh, baseline on which this entire, entire building of, of uh, the entire building of fitness lies. Okay. Which is re which is just following the textbook okay sometimes following the textbook uh, does really uh, make a difference because the textbook has actually been practically tested out okay so what i did was because i had stopped feeling the soreness i had stopped feeling that pump so what i did was i did that workout that old school workout so i'll give you what that workout is or method that i follow is now, uh, I'll give you a sample workout, okay? So, let's take arms. So, generally, when I'm not doing uh, very high reps, I train in straight sets, no supersets. And I go for triceps first. I then go for biceps. After that, I go for my forearms. So, what I do in this is that I, irrespective of the weight that I'm using, okay? I will obviously maintain moderate weights, but irrespective of the weights, my entire concern would be to follow picture perfect form okay so when you're doing barbell curls you're going to stretch out on the eccentric when you come up you are going to squeeze for a second and the tempo will also be maintained that meaning when you're curling it's one second and when you're eccentric or when you're extending it's going to be three seconds okay when you're dumbbell curling it's not just going to be you curling like this you're actually going to supinate the muscle too like this because you must see this. You see the movement in the bicep here. You see the bicep moving. That means I'm not uh, now. Uh, that that means that this actually uh, involves the bicep. The process of supination. Okay, this involves the bicep. So when if you you'll notice that when you are actually curling it like this, that's the entire reason why dumbbell curls are done like this rather than just like this. Okay. So when you're doing 
dumbbell curls you'll notice that uh, you'll you'll feel a greater tension or a greater recruitment of muscle fibers when you actually twist okay so now coming back to the topic coming back to the topic is that we will do every single exercise with picture perfect form follow the exact tempo that has been mentioned okay and the next day i guarantee to you the pump or uh, the soreness that you're going to feel the process of delayed onset muscle soreness which is doms which every bodybuilder relishes unless it's legs uh, you are going to absolutely relish the feeling if in case you've hit a plateau i would suggest you go back to this okay instead of just forget about the weight keep the poundage and this is me saying it okay this is me who is the biggest proponent of heavyweight training saying this so this might be working so so i'll say get the weight out of your head okay forget about the weight you might as well use 5 kg okay and do it with picture perfect form and picture perfect uh, tempo i mean to the very book to the very last word of the book follow it